Hi everybody, this is Gertrude Machia here in Wellington, New Zealand. I hope you've all had a fantastic day and that the video that I posted this morning was of help to helping you get started in creating your book title. So I decided to end the day with a workshop on how to arch a story. I've had an interesting day connecting with so many authors around the world. Uh, Tony Via, it was good catching up with you first thing this morning. You were the first author I spoke to. Wendy Rowe in Australia, good to connect with you, Wendy. Really looking forward to seeing what we're going to do with your book. My good friend Monique, all the way in the United States. I met her when she was writing her first book and now she's ready to write the second book and we'll be working together. Uh, G and Nadine in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I miss you guys. I miss New Mexico. Really honored that I'm going to be working with you going forwards with creating your books. Richard, Richard all the way in Toronto, USA. Richard, it's been a long time. And I know that you and I went through very similar challenges in our lives, but it looks like you're ready to get this book out. So I'm here anytime you need me. Crystal got in touch all the way from South Africa. Crystal, welcome to the group. Have lots of fun. Try and connect with everybody else in the group. Uh, this group is very, very helpful in that sense. Kem. Kem is all the way in Germany. I know that you are on fire and ready to birth and tell your story. Let's keep going. Um, let's see. Moetu. Moetu is also in Germany and I'm going to be meeting you very soon. Thank you for trusting me to be your book wife. It's really nice to be working with a fellow Kiwi on your book. Maria Teresa in Sydney. I know you've been going through a few challenges at home. So sorry to hear about your sister-in-law who passed away last week. Call me anytime whenever you're ready, then we can get started, Maria. Um, Trisha Joseph, again in America. We're going to be co-authoring a book together. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, who else did I talk to? And I think that's about it. If I've missed anybody out, I'm sorry. But today was really full on and I've been flat out talking to people all over the world and absolutely loving every single minute of it. So I've created a few things that you can use. I will be putting this diagram. I hope you can all see it. Oh, there we go. I will put this in the document section of this web page. Please pay attention to what's written on this piece of paper because that's what this workshop is about, where I'm going to be teaching you about the arch of a story and how to actually put a book together. So every single book has got three parts to it, an act one, act two, and act three. And what you need to remember is that act one is the beginning of your book, act two is the middle, and act three is the end. Now these are three very distinct parts of book writing. And you need to know exactly how your book is going to start, what happens in the middle, and how it's going to end. So in the beginning you have what's called your setup. Your setup is where you introduce all of the characters and the people, the main people who are in the story. And this can apply to a nonfiction book like a memoir, or it applies to a fiction book as well. You also have to introduce all the situations around your character in the beginning of your book, in your act one, and then show your readers the relationships between all of the characters in this book. So that's the beginning of the book. In the middle, in act two, 
you need to show all the obstacles that your main character has to go through to keep the book moving at a certain pace and give it momentum. So does your character win or lose? Do they gain what they are trying to gain? It could be an education. It could be changing off a career. Um, do they achieve that goal or do they lose? So you have to show us all of the obstacles that your main character goes through in the middle of the book. Act three is the end. And it's not the end of the actual story, but the solution to the story. How does the book end? Does your character live or die? Do they succeed or do they fail? Do they win the race or not win the race? So those are the main things that you need to build your book and build the structure to your book. So I'm going to hold it up again. You have a beginning, a middle, oops, and an end. And in the beginning is your setup. In the middle is the confrontation. And at the end is the resolution or the solution to your story. So I know I've been holding up the paper a little bit funny. I'll have to get used to doing that and locking my face while I speak. But I will put this inside the document section so that you can all get this material when you start mapping out and working on the structure of your book. Now, the other thing that you need to remember when writing a story is that there are two more points that you need to get clear before you start writing. And these two points are called your plot points. And I will show you on the storyline. So you need a plot point one that takes the reader from the beginning of the story to the middle. You need a plot point two that takes the reader from the middle of the story to the end. Now, a plot point can be anything. It can be a situation, something that makes your reader move from Zimbabwe to New Zealand, for example, which would be the story of my life. You need to move your reader from the different parts of your story. And while you're working on your structure, all you need to think about is what is the beginning, what is the middle, what is the end, what is my plot point one and what is my plot point two? So what are those situations, what are those events that will take your reader from one part of your story to the next? So I hope this has been useful. Now you can go and put bullet points to each of those parts of the story and those bullet points could turn into the potential chapters for your story as well. So this is Gertrude Mache in Wellington, New Zealand. I know it's a Friday here in New Zealand and Australia. Some of you want to work on your books this weekend. So I thought I'll give you a little something that you can take away this weekend and start working on it. And I will be posting more of these tutorial videos in the group as we progress. A lot of you have been contacting me one-on-one -on -one wanting me to help mentor you and coach you and show you how to get this book both on Amazon and Kindle. So keep inboxing me. I'll schedule some time to talk to you and explain the process that I use to show people how to write a book in 40 hours. So thank you for being in the group. Bombard me with questions. Ask as many questions as you like. And that's how I can create these tutorial videos that can help you move to the next step with your book. So until tomorrow, enjoy your evening wherever you are. This is Gertrude in Wellington. Bye for now.